During the infancy stage, parents' actions determine how the child will trust in the future. In this scene, we will see two sets of parents. The first will be instilling a sense of trust, while the second will not. <laughs> oh no, the baby is crying. Sounds like she needs a diaper change. Alright, I got it this time. Sister's crying again. It's not my kid. Maybe if we turn it up, we won't hear. At this point, the caregivers start to give the child a sense of independence, with either autonomy or feelings of shame and doubt. Mama, mama! Guess what? What? I went on the potty! Yeah! And I washed my hands, too! You're such a big girl! Yeah. Wait, how are you gonna make it to preschool if you can't pick up your toys? I don't know. Maybe I'm not. At this point, kids are looking for a sense of power. Overuse of power can lead to feelings of guilt. This is boring. I want to play tag. But I'm having fun. Me too. I see. We're playing tag. As kids enter school, they learn to cope with academic and social demands. Here's my homework. Great job. Cue up the good work. Sorry it's late. No late work, so. Okay. The teen is now beginning to develop a sense of self-identity and relationships. Hey, Austin, over here. At this point in life, young adults need to form intimate relationships that will last. I hate you! It's over! It's important at this point to care and nurture things that will outlive yourself. This is the stage in life where an individual develops either a sense of fulfillment or regret. You know, back in my day, we actually talked to people. Well, how is your day? It's gorgeous! <laughs> Any visitors today, Bailey? Nope. I didn't raise those kids right. It's a shame. Mm-hmm. From the very beginning, our parents begin to shape who we are based on their responses to our needs and how they make us feel. These feelings, reactions, and treatments of us follow us throughout our lives and can determine our attitude in the end.